welcome to your English class. Today is Wednesday. Is everything all right? Yes. Okay, good. So welcome to your English class. Today is Wednesday. And today we're going to have a different class, okay? Because, guys, listen to me. Uh, the first classes or the previous classes, guys, you normally have a grammar topic, okay? So this time, the class came to be kind of different because today we are not going to work on, we're not going to work on a grammar topic, but we're going to work on the skills. When you guys learn a language, okay, so you need to develop some skills. So reading, okay, I will write them here. So you need to develop the reading, okay, reading, your speaking, writing, and listening. Alright, so these are, esas son las cuatro habilidades que ustedes chicos deben desarrollar para aprender una lengua, para aprender un idioma, listo, en este caso inglés. What's the idea? So remember, on Friday, guys, we worked on listening, okay? On Friday, guys, remember it was on Valentine's Day, so you listen to a video of an audio about the story of some Valentine, and you guys answered some questions based on the audio, okay? So it was a listening activity, a listening class. Today, we're going to focus on a different uh, skill, and this time we're going to work with list reading, okay? We're going to work with reading. What's the idea? I told you that the class is going to be different because, um, What's the idea? I'm going to show. I'm going to share uh, my the screen on the. I don't know on the camera. I don't know how to say that. So you guys can follow a reading. Okay. The name of the reading is 16 What Now. Okay, chicos. Entonces para aquellos que de pronto acaban de llegar, hoy vamos a hacer una clase diferente. Vamos a hacer una clase de lectura. El viernes pasado hicimos una clase de escucha. Recuerden el audio sobre San Valentín, hoy vamos a desarrollar la habilidad de lectura, ¿vale? De comprensión, de comprensión escrita. ¿Cuál es la idea? Voy a compartir, voy a estar con ustedes eh, haciendo una lectura, chicos. Voy a guiarlos a hacer la lectura mientras ustedes la hacen también y al final vamos a responder unas preguntas sobre eso. Para eso Nicolás me va a ayudar mucho. Vamos a compartir en imagen en la cámara, no sé, aquí, uh, la lectura, ¿listo? Para que ustedes sigan, por favor, sigan conmigo la lectura y ustedes al final responder las preguntas entonces, por favor, los quiero bien atentos listo, los quiero bien atentos siguiendo la lectura, ¿vale? entonces, vamos Nicolás, me va a ayudar ok, quiero ver el chat, ¿cómo ve el chat? ahí uh... ¿no puedo? yes pero, o sea, no al tiempo, sino simplemente por ahora. Ah, ese es el chat. Y aquí estaría la lectura. Ok, listo. Por ahí está, es ya la lectura, ¿están viendo? Sí, sí. Ok, so guys, listen to me. So, hello, hi, good night, hello, how are you guys? Hello, Angela, how are you, Angela? Uh, it's great, can they see you from here? No. No, ok, good. So, Angela. It's gravy with Gabriel, okay? How many assistants do we have? Ten assistants. Chicos, so... Hello. I'm the teacher.
Okay, guys. So I'm writing to you. So I'm telling you that on the screen, you guys have a reading. Okay. Have are you guys have a reading? So the name of the reading is 16. What now? Okay. So you guys will follow the reading with me. Okay. You guys will follow the reading with me. So, but I can't manage like the. Uh, sí, yeah. Guys, give me a second. All right, but they are watching that, right? Yes. You sure? Sí, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna chat. All right, good. So, guys, let's go. So, the reading is 16 now. You are going to start with me. I'm going to make the reading with you. I'm going to do the reading, guys, sorry, with you, and you will follow my reading, okay? So, let's go. Please, uh, chicos, please tell me that you guys are ready. So, tell me that you guys are ready so we can. I can know if you are ready. Ok, por favor, háganme saber chicos que están listos. Escriban en el chat que están listos. Por favor, que nada más eso deslizas hacia la derecha para bajar esta barrita un poquito. Deslizas. Tenemos, como les decía. Por ahí, una vez que nos pegamos. Arriba, por ahí, ya se cree que estoy bien atento a lo que escriban. Ok, chicos, por favor, escríbanme si están listos, si entendieron la actividad. Necesito saber que ustedes están listos para poder. Muy bien, ready. Thank you, Johan. Johan is ready. And who else is ready? ¿Quién más está listo? Ángela, mis estudiantes, mis estudiantes que más participan. Jessica, oh Jessica, yes, ready, Johnny, hello Johnny, los que nunca me abandonan, <laughs> Miguel Ángel, también siempre está allí, so thank you Miguel Ángel, you're ready, it doesn't look, no se ve tal vez, he says, it's not visible. Chicos, también por favor, háganme saber si la imagen de la lectura eh, es visible o se puede ver en su pantalla, listo. Si la pueden ver, la idea es que ustedes lean conmigo, puedan ver la lectura. Entonces es importante que ustedes me digan si se puede leer, que pueden ver en sus pantallas la lectura, que la pueden leer. De pronto, si quieren ver la, la, la grande. Eh, ¿Pero qué? ¿Acá? Sí, no. Y pues ellos también la verían más grande, perdón. Bueno, sí. I cannot see well. It's good, yes, it's good. I cannot see well. Guys, so I may I just made it bigger so you guys can read. Okay, la acabo de hacer mucho más grande para que puedan leer. Entonces por favor díganme si pueden leer. I think it's. I cannot see perfectly. I can't see perfectly. Okay, very good. So just made it bigger. Yes. Oh no, Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, so guys, let's start maybe expanding a little bit more. Okay, very good. All right, so let's start. Here we go. 16 went now. Vamos a empezar, chicos. You are 16, and finally you can leave the school. By now, you are probably sick of t-shirts, desks, 
tests and exams. But don't just run to for the exit. You need to think carefully about what to do next. If you want to, be, to if you want a professional career, you will need to go to the university and get a degree. To do that, you need to stay at high school for another two years. But you needn't stay, you needn't stay at the same place. There are several options in the district of North Cray, okay? St. Leopold School has the best pass rate of all the high schools in the district. It, is, it offers a, bra, a wide range of subjects in the humanities and sciences. St. Leopold's is, of course, a private school, so many too expensive for you. But don't worry, there are several other options if you want to follow the, acad the academic route. No grammar school is a state school, so there are no fees and it has excellent tuition and facilities. It is a voice school from the ages of 11 to 16, but from 16, 18 to 18 it is co-educational, but it is selective, so you will have to pass an exam to get in. If you are interested in going into business, check out Wild River Acad Academy. This school specializes in subjects like business studies, management, and econ economics. If you prefer the arts, look at the courses on offer at North Craig College. Here, you can study woodwork art, textiles, and much more. North Cray College also offers a wide range of vocational qualifications. You can do a one-year certificate or a two-year diploma in subjects like electrics, plumbing, roofing, and hairdressing. If you prefer to work outdoors, look at Milton College, where there, there are courses in farm mechanics, land management, animal management, and much more. A final option is to get an apprenticeship with a local, sorry, with a local national company. You will get on the job training gain certificates or diplomas, and start earning straight away. But be warned, places are limited. Find out more at the job spur on 26th of May at the North Creek College. Okay, so guys, this was the reading. Okay, this was the reading. Uh, now, we will, we, will go, we will go to read it again. Okay, for the last time, we're going to read they are going to do the reading again for the last time. Okay, so you please pay attention. Here we go again. You are 16 and finally you can leave school. But by now you are probably sick of t-shirts, desk, test, and exams. But don't just run for the exit. You need to think carefully about what to do next. If you want to if you want a professional career, you will need to go to the university and get a degree. To do that, you need to stay at, at high school for another two years, but you do not need to stay at the same place. There are several options in the district of North Cray. St. Leopold's School. Leopold's School has the best pass rate in all the high schools in the district. It offers a wide range of subjects of the humanities and sciences. St. Levels is, of course, a private school, so maybe too expensive for you, okay? But don't worry, there are several other options if you want to follow the academic, the academic 
the academic road, academic road, sorry, Acad academic road. No grammar school is a state school, so there are no fees, and it has excellent tuition and facilities. It is a voice school from the ages of 11 to 16, but from 16 to 18, it is co-educational, okay? But it is selective, so you'll have to pass an exam to get in. Okay, guys? If you are interested in going to business, check out Wild River Academy. This is cool specializes in subjects like business studies, management, and economies. If you prefer the arts, look at the courses on offer, on offer at North Craig College. Here you can study woodwork, art, textiles, and much more. North Craig College also offers a wide range of vocational qualifications. You can do a one-year certificate or a two-year diploma in subjects like electrics, plumbing, roofing, and hair dressing. If you prefer to work outdoors, look at the Mill Down College, where there are courses in farm mechanics, land management, animal management, and, more, and much more. A final option is to get a apprenticeship with local with local or national company. You will get on the job training, getting certificates or diplomas and start earning straight away. But be worried, places are limited. Find out more at the job fair on 26th May at the North Craig College. Okay? Now guys, listen to me. So you will have to answer the following questions, okay? You will have to answer the following questions. So what's the idea? I will read the questions, okay? I will show you question one, and you guys will answer. You will tell me uh, if, the, if the answer is question A, right? Or answer option B, sorry, or option C, okay? So please guys tell me what's the correct answer. The first question is, this is the first question, so you will answer, you will answer the following questions and choose the right options according to the text, okay? So the aim, let's go with the first question. The aim of the article is to, so here we go. The aim, guys, the aim is when we guys talk about if the article is that it is hero up, okay? So the aim or the purpose, my better, the purpose M means like the objective. So the objective of this article is to A. Advise young people about how to get to the university or B. Tell young people about the options available or C. Advise young people to stay in education. So please tell me the answer. You got? Sophia, B. What else? Is Grady? Yes, okay. B. Miguel Angel says B. Joan says uh, B. Johnny Alejandro says B. B. All right. So, is there someone who thinks different? Does somebody have an, a different option? Does somebody have a different option? Or everybody says B. Okay, just let it. Let's wait for some seconds. Okay, let's see if, if you guys have, uh, I mean, if someone has a different answer. I think no. everybody agrees on, on, on answer B, right? Yes. Okay, so very good. So the right answer is B. Excellent. Sure. Yeah. C. Angela, you say it is C. Advise young people to stay in education. Okay. Angela, I think that the objective, okay, the objective 
of this article is to tell young people about the options available. Okay? How can I like highlight here? Encerrado, todo. Yeah. No, this option. La la encerrado todo el reino de la. Uh -huh. It's already selected. Okay, yeah. Y dale control M. What did it do? Come here, come here. Which one? Here? Sí. Okay, yeah. Era así, era. Control. Ah, no. no, no. Three. Mm. Mm. Oh. I don't know this one? No. No, pero sí, ahí es. Yes. Yeah, there are some options to do that. Ah, yeah. Ah, es control B. Sí, es control B. So, this one? No, no, no. Or this one? Ahora sí. No seleccionas todo, yeah. es control B. This one? Yes. Which one? Eh, B. This one or this one? Right. Okay. This one. Alright, very good. So there you go. So the right option is option B. Okay? Uh, so Angela said option C. Angela, listen to me. I will show you. Here, if you see, if you see, and uh, the article, if you see the article, talks about the different uh, schools, okay? For example, San Nobles School, okay? Oops, sorry. For example, San Nobles School, Levels School. Uh, he also talks about, about what else? About the Norcred College, okay? Which is another option. Um, let's see what else. There, there is one more actually. It's very good. Is to get an apprenticeship, an apprenticeship to the company will get training. No, okay. So listen to me, Angela. So here you see that the options to study, the options to study are these institutions. So for that reason, I think, right, for that reason, I think that the right answer is B. The objective of this article is to tell young people about the options available, okay? Now let's go with the second, yeah? Angela, corrigiendo que se le fue la C. Ah, okay, sorry, it's okay, good. So let's go with question number two. Question number two says, the article, the article advises readers who want a professional career to go to university immediately, stay at the same school for two more years, or go to high school for two more years, then get a degree. Okay, guys? So this way is the right option. Teacher, we're gonna have it to see. To see, all right. Any other option? Sofia, C. Mm -hmm. More people. Does somebody have a different option? Does somebody have a different option? No. Let's wait. So the article advises readers who want a professional career too. To go uh, to go to university immediately or to stay at the same school for two more years or C, to go to high school for two more years and then get a degree. John, C. John says letter C. Who else, guys? All right. So very good. The right answer is letter C, okay? This is the right answer. So the article advises readers who want a professional career to go to high school for two more years and then get a degree. So if you go back to the reading, we have here that you have here the explanation. It says, if you want a professional career, you will need to go to university and get a degree. 
To do that, you need to stay at the high school for another two years, but you didn't stay at the same times. There are several options in the district or in our grade, okay? So this paragraph, this paragraph, explain, explica, por qué, explain why letter C is the right option, the right option for question number two, okay? Very good, excellent. Angela, Johnny, John, very good. Guys, recuerden, si ustedes tienen una respuesta diferente, no tengan miedo de darla, ¿listo? Por favor. Okay, let's go. Question number three. St. Lopez is the best school for, sorry, A, number one, A, good exam results, or B, humans and sciences, or C, facilities. Okay, number three. St. Leopold's, St. Leopold's, Leopold's is the best school for A, good exam results, or B, humanities and sciences, or C, facilities. So what's the right answer? What is the right answer? 3A, Sophia says A, who else? More answers? Miguel Angel A, Sophia A. Miguel Angel A, Sophia A. Joan Sebastian says A. Any other answer? A different answer? All right, so very good guys. The right answer is A, okay? Good, so St. Leopold's is the best school for good exam results. So if we go back, to San Leopold's school, we say that has the best pass rate of all high school in the district, okay? It means that it has the best pass rate. The pass rate means that it has good results of all the high schools in the district, okay? So it means that this college has the best results, okay? Very good. Let's go with number, yeah? Johnny says B. B, okay, Johnny, it's letter A because of the answer, okay? Now let's go with question number four. Question number four says, you can only attend San Diego's school if you are A, pay tuition fees or B, pass an exam or C, study both humanities and sciences. So what is the answer of question four? So what is it? 4A, Miguel Angel says 4A, and Sofia says also A. Any other? Any other person? Any other person different says? Does somebody say something different? A, 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 A. What else? Angela, yo le sofía me dijo. Ok, muy bien. So, Johnny, Alejandro, and Angela. Break it. So, the right answer is letter A. Ok? Pay to teach you face. 
Okay, so let's see why. Vamos a ver por qué es la respuesta correcta. So let's go back to the reading. About San Leopold's, let's see. San Leopold's school, Leopold's school, it says so. It offers, it offers a wide range of subjects in humanities and sciences. San Leopold's is, of course, a private school, so the main picture is 20 for you. But don't worry, there are several options there, are other several options if you want to follow the academic, uh, academic route. So, here it says that, let's, let's go back to the answer to the question. So, pay to teach your face, okay? I think you can only, where is it? That's, that's the other one, so let's highlight it. Okay, so very good. So the right answer is letter A, pay to teach and face. Now let's go to the question number five. So you can only attend no grammar school if you pass an exam, if you are a boy, or if you can't afford the tuition fees. So where is the right answer? You can only attain no grammar school if you pass an exam or if you are a boy or if you can afford the tuition fees. So question number five was the answer. Johnny says C. Yeah. Angela says A. Miguel Angel A. Miguel Angel says A. Any other option you guys consider? That's right. A, B, B. Any other question? Okay, good. So letter A, B. that's the right answer. You say B? No, letter A. So let's see. Let's go back to the reading and see why. So it says that no grammar school is a state school. So there are no fees and it has excellent to teach to teach and facilities. It has it is a boys school for ages eleven to sixteen but from sixteen to eighteen it is called locational. But it is elective. So you will have to pass an exam to get in. You will have to pass an exam to get in. So this is the explanation you have to you will have to pass an exam to get in. This is the explanation, this is the text or the part of the text that supports the answer okay, that supports the idea that to pass there you have to to go there you have to pass an exam. Very good. Okay. Let's go with the last question. Okay. Let's go with the last question because of time. So the last question says Anna wants to work with horses. Okay. Anna wants to work with horses. So, according to this, where is the best place for her to study? What is the best, the best place for her to study? So, Wild River Academy or North Crave College or Milldown College? So, Miguel Angel says C. Meal down college. Uh, Jimmy says B. Johnny says B. Any other option? Joan Sebastian says B. Another 
question B. All right, the right answer is C, Milldown College. This is the right answer, okay? Milldown College, this is the right answer. Why? Let's see. So the same, let's go back to the reading and let's see why, okay? So, where is it? Okay, so if you prefer to work outdoors, okay, outdoors means, guys, activities that are preferred outside, see? Okay, so look at Meal Down as college. So the Meal Down College, where there are courses in farm mechanics, okay, farm mechanics, land management, animal management and much more so animal management and much more okay so this part animal management means that you guys will uh, have to be in contact with animals like horses for example okay so for this reason uh the right answer is c all right this is the part of the text this is the sentence that supports the idea that supports that for Anna, the best option to study, okay, if she wants to, the best option option to, to work with horses is the meal down college because there she could work with animals, okay? So guys, listen to me. I think we have finished, okay? We have finished the, 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 the class. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know you guys are not used to it, to these kind of classes, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it and you guys have taken advantage of it. Okay? Espero que hayan tomado provecho de la clase, hayan aprovechado para leer, para entender y comprender la lectura. Listo? Sé que fue un poco diferente a las personas que estuvieron y se dieron cuenta que de pronto era algo diferente, pues la idea, chicos, es poder desarrollar las habilidades. Recuerden que las habilidades son escucha, comprensión escrita, que, lo que, que es lo que acabamos de hacer, la comprensión oral, que es listening, o la producción escrita, que es writing, y la producción oral, que es speaking. ¿Listo? El viernes pasado trabajamos listening, es decir, la comprensión oral en donde ustedes escucharon una historia y respondieron unas preguntas y esta vez hicimos comprensión escrita, ¿listo? La idea es poder hacer ejercicios como estos eh, para poder desarrollar las habilidades que son muy importantes chicos si ustedes realmente quieren aprender el inglés, ¿listo? De verdad espero, gracias Ángela si te gustó la clase, uh, you are welcome Johnny, de hecho las gracias son para ustedes. Eh, de verdad, la clase so, es de ustedes, son ustedes quienes hacen la clase, Johnny, Ángela, Sofía, uh, ¿a quién más tenemos? Uh, a Sofía, a Juan Sebastián, a Jimmy, a Miguel Ángel, son ustedes que realmente quienes hacen la clase, chicos. ¿Listo? Entonces, thank you for your participation, thank you for being interested in it. So see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Now I will, you will, uh, you will be with uh, Nicolás. Te los voy a decir unas cosas. Bye, bye, guys. Hola, chicos. ¿Cómo van? Chicos, esperamos que hayan disfrutado mucho la actividad. Y nuevamente para recordarles cómo funciona el cronograma. Los lunes, de 5 de la tarde a 8 de la noche, monitorías. De martes, de martes a viernes, eh, las tutorías virtuales de 7 de la noche a 8 de la noche. Los sábados, los talleres de formación, chicos, están súper buenos. Eh, el anterior de la tarde estuvo muy interesante. El de este sábado va a estar aún mejor porque es sobre liderazgo, una habilidad súper importante. Eh, entonces pues los esperamos de 9 de la mañana hasta el mediodía chicos eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? 
La hoja de ruta, chicos. El módulo de inglés cierra el 23 de febrero, pero la idea, ustedes tienen plazo para entregar la hoja de ruta hasta el 21, entonces la idea es que pues, la entreguen lo antes posible, con eso el profe puede tomarse el tiempo de calificar, eh, tener en cuenta la participación en clase, todo eso para la nota definitiva, ¿vale chicos? Eh, ¿Qué más? Participen, participen, de verdad que eso es súper importante, como les digo, el profe Diego va a tener en cuenta eso para la nota definitiva, entonces es súper importante que participen todo el tiempo, chicos. Mm, envíen la hoja de ruta lo antes posible y creo que no es nada más, chicos. Entonces, por hoy, feliz noche y nos vemos mañana.